hello so in this inventory management system now we are going to create a new form and it is known as purchase master uh, this is very big form so we are going to make some part so we can get easily idea so now first of all i am going to create new page new php file purchase master.php and now we are going to bind this page with our menu so I am going to open this header.php and after this add new party I am going to add and we need to use inside this form edges also so uh, this is going to be a little bit difficult but don't worry we are going to do this step by step so here you can see I bind this page with this menu so I am going to check here here we got purchase master now inside this purchase master we need to use something like this add product page like drop down etc etc so I am going to copy this whole code of add products.php and now I am going to paste here so now I am going to click on this purchase master and you can see we have same design of this add new product now I am going to change here here add new purchase here also add new purchase so here we have add new purchase add new purchase and now we don't need grid over here so I am going to delete that grid this div I deleted that grid so now we don't have that grid now we don't need this alert message also because here we are not getting any error here we are going to change message purchase inserted successfully so we change that now according to our new purchase master form we are going to change here so first of all we need here select company so we have already that so we are not going to change anything only we are going to give here id company name and in this select we need one option select so here we can see that select and then we can select our company whatever we added now for this product name also here you can see we have a product name here we need drop down because when admin is going to enter this purchase master any product on that time they need to select only they don't need to type so here also I need select then option select and here I am not going to give ID that you can see next video why I am not going to give your ID but I am going to give ID here that also you can see in next video just write here ID product name then we need unit here is also we have unit yeah here I need to give class now here name unit I am going to remove this name name is also unit is also coming from edges so right now only we are going to write here option select so I am going to show you how it loads you can see select 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 and then we need packing size and in packing size also we are going to use drop down so I am going to copy I am going to paste here and in unit we are going to give here ID unit here we are going to give ID packing size and then after need quantity so for quantity we are going to take text boxes so I am going to copy this 
पेस्ट enter quantity here we don't need id so i am going to remove that and here we are going to take text spots so and going to give class span 11 okay so i got quantity and then after i need to enter price so i am going to copy these things enter price and here we are going to write price so price text box is also added and then after we need to select details of purchase party from where we are going to select this data so for that also we need drop down so here i am going to copy this drop down then paste here select select party name here i am going to delete this id that we are going to fill this detail in next video so we have now select party name option also now we need to add your purchase type means you are going to buy this with cash or check or debit or credit select purchase type here i am going to add You can add any option whatever you like so i added two option right now cash and debit and here also select then after we need to add expiry date so here i am going to use these text box and paste here here we are going to give name expiry date and here we need to give required and pattern so i am going to give here required and also pattern because we need to add here in yyyy mmdd format so here we need to write pattern now we can copy this paste here two then paste here two so we set here first four digit then dash then two digit then dash then de two digit it means y y y y m m d d so i am going to write here placeholder so user can get idea and now here we are going to change the button name purchase now so you can see our form is ready now you can see what we are going to do actually when you are going to select this product balaji on that time using edges without refreshing the page we are going to fill here all the product of balajis when you are going to select amul in product we are going to fill all the details of all the products of amul and then when you are going to select any product of amul then according to it we are going to select unit then according to unit we are going to select packing size and then these are remaining same and then we are going to perform insert operation but i will show you next video but we are going to create new table for this purchase master here i am going to take 10 field here id integer then 5 primary key and then we need auto increment then next feed company name 
house by Mr. Then here I'm going to take where there hundred after company name we need unit after unit we need packing size and then after we need quantity then also I am going to take where here after quantity we are going to take price then party name Quantity you already take on then we need to take then it's by date. Here I am going to take date. So we take ID then company name. Oh we forget product name, but don't worry. Uh, first I am going to save this and then again I am going to open this table you can see this table is already open and we are going to add one column after ID or we can take after company name here I am going to take product name where here and under it. So I am going to so with this table you can see our table is ready ID company name product name unit unit then packing size quantity price party name purchase type and expiry date so now in next video we are going to fill this all the drop downs and then we are going to perform insert operation update operation lots of operations thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it and yeah don't forget to subscribe thank you so much again